Welcome back to the Electrician's 2 channel. We have on the bench today the Etchtech MG300 True RMS Multimeter and Installation Tester. This tester uh, was placed on the market in 2013 according to the, uh, the user manual. And this has, has since been discontinued. Etchtech has another meter on the market, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if you're wrong. I think it's uh, it's the MG320, I believe, by Etchtech. Uh, would both of these meters have something in common? Both of them are rebrands, uh, rebranded multimeters from uh, other companies. And uh, the company that I have in mind that who made this meter for Etchtech is the company uh, called Sim. C E M. They also they have other big name companies that also uh, rebranded the same insulation tester. Uh, let me see can I name a few. Uh, Amazon, Amazon Prime. Uh, it goes under the uh, goes under the name Amazon Commercial, and they have an insulation tester which is the same exact insulation tester which you're looking at right here. Uh, uh, Sim. They have their model out. Uh, I believe I would say they, they are the original maker of it. Reed Instruments, they have one out. Uh, um, not Unity. U Unity have uh, a rebrand of the newer version of this one, as well as Etchtech. They have their new one. It's MG320, I believe. Unity, and if you've seen the Unity installation tester, uh, the red one with the, I've done a video on it, the red one was the, with the black or gray front. It's the same exact one of the of the Etchtech new one, uh, the MG320. Now, they have several other other meters that's uh, that rebranded this multi, this uh, insulation tester. Um, the name escapes me, but um, when this multi when this meter was out, I believe it cost uh, something like three hundred and three hundred something dollars. If I'm not mistaken, according to T Equipment, I think it was no, I'm not I'm lying. I think it was 400, 400 and some dollars, according according to T Equipment. Could be wrong. I can't remember the price on it at the time right, right now at the moment. But um, this multimeter, uh, it, it's equipped with Bluetooth, but it's not wireless Bluetooth. If you see to the left of the screen, this it had this little adapter that you have to plug into the computer, and it sends. Uh, waves or uh, communication to the meter and it communicates like that the test leads uh, on on the side is the test leads to the other edge tech i did uh did a review on which is the gx 900 and I, uh, when i mentioned i said i couldn't find them uh, i had them in the bag along with this meter okay but these are the meter these are the leads right here to the edge tech uh, gx 900 and the meter test leads and probes to this meter now in one of my other test uh, instrument bags somewhere. Now, uh, I'm going to get into some of the features um, that this meter has, and um, then I'll tell you what they have written about this meter besides what you see on the front of the meter. So let me just pull up a little bit closer, get the camera to adjust. And we can both see. Okay, let me get a little closer so we can see. Okay. Now, to the left, they have the voltage range when you're doing your uh, doing your insulation testing. This meter goes from one to uh, fifty. I think it's fifty volts to one thousand volts. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, to yeah, fifty volts to one thousand volts. Um. Let's see. And the next one, they have a microamps, AC, DC. The one above that, they have 4 to 20 milliamp, as well as duty factor. The next one, uh, they have milliamps, AC, DC, which will be here. The next one will be a 10 amp measurement, hertz, AC, DC, uh, volts, AC, hertz, uh, 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 measurements as well as duty factor, volts DC, millivolts AC DC, 
Hertz uh, duty factor right here again. Um, they have uh, continuity, they have resistance, they have uh, diode and capacitance, and they have the temperature. The soft keys at the top, you can record data, you can do data logging with it, with the soft keys, and you can set up and you can press the range that you want to um, measure whatever you're measuring. They have the mode. And that's the little beep is about to go off. I had it on for some time. They have the min max button here, the rel uh, relative button there, the hold, and they have the uh, exit as well as the backlight. The backlight is, 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 is pretty decent. Let me turn it on for you right quickly. Let me turn the meter on. It gives you more. It's, it's not as. I think you have one. Yeah, it has one setting for the light, and uh, it's pretty, it's it's okay. It's like a white, whitish, bluish light, but it's okay. It's it's, it's not bad at all. Uh, it's, it, it have automatic turn off for the light. Um, I, you have to get in, go inside of internally, not internally, but go, go into the settings, and you can uh, set the time that you want the, how long you want the backlight to stay on. Uh, they have a place in the back of it where you can keep your probes. When, you, when they're not in use. Um, down at the bottom here, you can see, it's rated with 10 amps, and insulation test right here. You have to plug, plug one lead right here, and the other one right here. That's why I have those two um, little, uh, uh, anyway, I have these two things that come with this meter. I have them plugged in right there. So I can always remember where I want to do my insulation, put my insulation test, even though it's still written right here. I just keep them there because when I do use, I just put them there. Now anyway, uh, also, this meter is really heavy duty. It, it, it doesn't feel cheap at all. I got to say that. I got I got to say that it's really, it really feels good. Um, I, have any pro I have no problem with it at all. It always worked perfectly for me. Uh, so, um, let me see. Let me just turn it on again. I'm trying to go through some of the steps here. Let me turn the backlight on. It won't stay on long. So, if I were to put, just say, put it in insulation mode, and you see they have a dual display, or a triple, or a triple display, you get the output voltage, which will be like, five, it's right now it's set to 500. So, let me see. Can I, so that's a, it sets for 1,000. Or 120. Oh, I said 50 earlier. It's uh, 125. Then it goes up to 250, 500 volts, um, and a thousand volts. So I'm gonna just take, do do a test with that, and we'll see what happens. 156 mega ohms. Okay, 156.3 mega ohms. So, and it was putting out. 1,000 volts. I oh, know I had to set on 1,000 volts, which will be right here. And it was putting out. Hold on, let me do it again. That time it put out 980. Let me give it a chance to cool down. I don't know why. Why did it do that? But let me give it a chance to cool down. We'll try it again. Let me set. Let me step down the voltage and see what happens. We'll go to 500. Okay. Okay, there we go. I was putting out, for, uh, I have a set to 500, it's putting out 517. Putting out 517. Well, but anyway, this this, this meter haven't, haven't given me any issues at all. Maybe because of the batteries are kind of low. I'm looking at the screen right here, telling me it's half full. Okay, but um, this is a very nice meter. I have no complaints with it at all. And my opinion about this meter, if you were to find one and it's a good price and uh, an installation tester and it's, and it's, and it's well kept, um, I suggest you get it if the price is right and it's not all beat up or anything, it's in good condition. Uh, I suggest you get it. Now, I think Amazon have the same meter um, for like a hundred and something dollars. So, 
you know, I wouldn't just go look for an X-Tech. I try to find the one on Amazon. It's the same meter, and you're getting a brand, you're getting a brand new meter for that price that some people sell this used meter for on, on, on eBay. So before you make a purchase, buy looking for the X-Tech. Look for Amazon. Uh, go to the Amazon website. You might find it there. So that's just my take on it. Anyway, this is a, I think it's a pretty nice meter, and uh, I have no, and it haven't given me any issues whatsoever. And let me go over some of the, um, some of the other, um, I guess uh, specifications what they say this meter has. Okay, they say the enclosure it has a double molded waterproof IP67 enclosure, have a shock drop test six and a half feet, diode test test current at 0 0.9 milliamps maximum. Open circuit voltage, 2.8 volts DC, typical. Storage capacity is 8,000 data points. RF transmit distance, 10 meters approximately. Transmitter frequency, 915 megahertz. Uh, continuity check, audible signal will sound if the resistance is less than 35 ohms. Um, okay, peak, cap peak captures peak at greater than one millisecond. Uh, temperature sensor requires type K thermocouple. You know that. Uh, input input impedance, uh, input impedance, uh, 10 mega ohms volts DC and 9 mega ohms uh, volts AC, greater than 10 uh, mega ohms, uh, uh, mega ohms with v, uh, DC and greater than 9 mega ohms AC. AC response, true RMS. ACV uh, bandwidth 50 hertz to 1000 hertz crest factor uh, less than 3 at full scale up to 500 volts decreasing linearly at less than 1.5 at 1000 volts display 40,000 count backlit li liquid crystal display with bar graph over range uh, indication OL is displayed uh, auto power off, 15 minutes approximately with disable feature. Polarity, automatic, no indication for positive, for positive. Minus, sign for negative. Measurement rate, two times per second, nominal. Low, bar low battery in uh, indication, that's what it is. I'm looking at it right now. That's why I wouldn't do, give it a thousand uh, volt measurement. Okay, uh, is displayed if the battery voltage drops below operating voltage. Battery stays six. Uh, AA batteries, fuses, M milliamp, microamp ranges, 0 0.5 amps, 1,000 volts, ceramic fast blow, SEBA uh, 70-172-40A uh, range, 10 amp, 1,000 volts, ceramic fast blow, SEBA 50-199-06. Operating temperature, 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. 5 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. Storage temperature, temperature uh, minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to, to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 20, 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. Operating humidity, maximum is 80% up to 87 degrees Fahrenheit, 31 degrees Celsius, decreasing linearly to 50% at 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. Storage humidity, uh, less than 80%. Operating altitude, 7,000 feet. That's 2,000 meters maximum. The weight of this, this meter is uh, 20 and a half ounces. That's 582 grams. The size um, is 7.8 inches by 3.6 inch by 1.9 inch. Okay, that's um, conversion will be 200 by 92 by 50 millimeters. Okay, and um, they say it's the safe for the safety rating. This meter is intended for origin of installation use and protected against the user by double insulation per EN61010-1 and IEC61010-1. Second edition, 2001, to category four, 600 volt, and category three, 1,000 volt. Pollution degree, two. Guys, that's all I have to say about this meter. 
Uh, like I said before, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I just hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I could, I, I guess, that I, I didn't go deep, uh, uh, too deep into it because I didn't want to. I like to use my video short to keep your attention span going, uh, to keep your attention. Well, anyway, um, you guys stay safe. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can, you, you, know, you can show your appreciation by, uh, you know, what to do. Uh, leave a comment. Um, Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Uh, you can share the video. All that helps in support of the channel. I want to tell you that, guys. Thank you, and I uh, hope that you can meet me here next time when I uh, do another review. Thank you.